Hi, this is Bill Frizzell, and you're watching First Look. Hello, I'm Don Was, the president of Blue Note Records, and our guest on First Look today is one of the most respected and talented musicians on the face of the earth, Bill Frisell. We're uh, doing today's show in person at Flux Recording Studio in the East Village. Normally, uh, because it was created uh, during the COVID lockdown, yeah. it's on Zoom. Our yeah, last this is, it's on wild. Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. More, <laughs> we're actually in real life. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Uh, and it's good to be here to uh, talk about your beautiful new album, you put together an incredible band for this this new album. Uh, Greg Tardy on reeds, uh, Joe Clayton on piano, and uh, Jonathan Blake on drums. They're all artists I'm really familiar with. That you know, Jonathan and yeah. Gerald record for Blue Note, and Greg should record for Blue Note. <laughs> uh, but I I wouldn't necessarily be able to pick them out. You've got them doing something really different on this album, and the whole chemistry of the band is, is really unique. I've known all these guys and I've played with each of them in totally different contexts. I guess Greg is the one I've known the longest. We go quite a ways back, early 2000s or something. And Gerald I met actually, well, I, I, I'd heard him, I was a fan. And then through Charles Lloyd, it was one of these, uh, Charles. <laughs> My trio was there, and Charles's band was there with Gerald, and Charles brought me up to sit in what I thought was going to be one song, but it turned out to be the whole gig. <laughs> and But that was where, was on that gig where I was a fan already, but, you know, you never know, the, the chemical reaction thing was so strong. Jonathan, we just have these little crossing paths. You know, I, I sat in one time with, he was playing with Chris Davis, and I, they invited me to play. And again, I just felt this kinship thing. Something we did a duet concert, and then I started trying to get him on gigs, but he's so busy, I, or and I'm busy, and it was we kept having a lot of false starts. And but somewhere during this these last years, this strange time we're in, you know, I I was writing a lot of music and. I just had this kind of like, wow, I wonder what that would be like, you know, and it just kept coming back around to those guys. It's clear that some of these things were written in dark times. And I, I feel, you know, the album's dedicated to the memory of Ron Miles and there are a number of songs dedicated to departed friends. And uh, it feels like they're, they're, that might be an underlying motif. Music is, is for me, the most tangible solid way of keeping these people with us you know like all the years I played with Ron Miles or all the music I made with Hal Wilner it's not just me like there's another Claude Utley is a painter that I, I that made it to, like my house is filled with his paintings it's they're all over the place but with music the way we pass it around to each other you know all those years I played with Ron it's in my fingers, you know. It's it's like there's like a solid evidence that he's still <laughs> here with me, you know. And or Paul Motion is still, you know. It's it's in everything, every minute of what I play, you know. So I get some kind of comfort in that. It's just now, as this record is finished, and it's okay. Now it's a. I'm start. Oh well, yeah, that there is, <laughs> there is a lot of that. It There's comes. also some hope, though. I mean, you got a song called Look Out for Hope. It, well, yeah, then there's I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> there's a tone of wistfulness, but I, I think there's also hope and, and, uh, and like, holiday. That, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty <laughs> upbeat piece. Yeah, yeah. And that's the music. That's what's so incredible. It'll, it can... But that, that's a very interesting track, man, because... Uh, it is like, it's improvisation, but it's a group improv, no one's really taking a solo. It's the whole unit is going somewhere with that song. Yeah, that, that's what I was so happy with, what was going on. There's, there's no real, I don't think on the whole 
album it's not like it's just not set up that way like there's a this is your solo or something it's everybody's every note that everybody put at any moment is just a conversation or this counterpoint that's happening constantly and it i guess it's more about the the songs themselves or the pieces like that just gives us a little world to play around in let's uh, let's play a little bit of holiday because that's just such a, a good example of the of this okay. yeah. what this group does from his new album, Four, a song called Holiday. Going back to uh, the, the, the folks who've, who've uh, departed, man, uh, there's a song called Waltz for Hal Wilner. Hal was a good friend of both of ours. He was, mm -hmm. he was a, a wild character who really touched so many people. He was like an angel on earth, man. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. the, the things he did for me, if I'd never met Hal, I'd, I'd be back playing the piano bar in, I, at the Holiday Inn in Clawson, Michigan, you know? <laughs> yeah, me too. I'd be right there with you. I'd probably be just listening. I don't know what I'd be doing. But, uh, but let's uh, talk about Hal and what he meant to you and about the song. Yeah. He was my f friend, you know? Uh, and just, you know, inspired me every time I... It was like, wow, every time I saw him, it was like, what is that? Like, what? there was something would open up that I'd never heard of or didn't know about or uh, th this thing about trust. He had more trust in me than I had in myself. Like he would present me with an opportunity. He'd sort of set up a situation and push me into it. And I'm thinking, oh, I, I don't know, how am I going to do this? And I would, somehow I'd find my way, you know, and without him he never really told me what to do. He didn't, it's sort of, he just put me in these spots and every time I would learn something and I, I, you know, you'd be off that edge of where you're comfortable. That's where the stuff really happens. And he was like the <laughs> master of, of always putting me in some sort of circumstance that I didn't know what was going to happen. So it's, you know, I, Somehow we got to keep trying to do that on our own. You know? Yep. Yeah, he's irreplaceable, man. Let, let's play a Waltz for Hal Wilner. for sale from his new album for a waltz for Hal Wilner. Uh, the Pioneers is a song that you you've previously recorded it a couple of times each version totally different <laughs> from the others man uh, almost like a different song. What made you want to do it again with this group and did you have an approach in mind? You know I'll write these melodies or tunes or whatever you want to call them but I never I never have a fixed idea in my head what I'm expecting so the the biggest thrill for me is when you hear what someone else is how it how they r respond to it so you know I've done that uh, I guess it was in the 90s when I first maybe recorded that song and then I did it a few years back just sort of playing it on acoustic guitar or something and I don't know if these guys had ever heard those versions or anything it's just okay here's here's a tune and 
No, I really, I really get off on that. Just, just being surprised by what they think is getting an idea of how they think about it. Well, let's play it for the folks. Self was new album four, the pioneer. Beautiful track, man. The whole album's beautiful, man. It's, it's a really great record. Congratulations on I know you went into it with a lot of question marks in your yes. mind, <laughs> and uh, you you it it from what you described to me, it it not only came out, you not only achieved it, but you exceeded it. I think it's a it's a wonderful record, man. Hopefully I'll get to play with these guys. You know, when we make a record, it's like, in a way, it's the beginning, you know? And so much happened just in that moment when we, you know, we captured that moment of us first getting together, but yeah. I'm hoping we can do some gigs and then see where it goes from Just there. some shows booked? You, it looks like, yeah, later in 2023, so there's some stuff. and. I look forward Fucking, to hearing that, man. Luckily, they're, everybody's so busy, man, which is great. Yeah. But but I'm, I think I, I grabbed them for a little moment there. Well, great, man. Look, uh, thanks very much for coming down here today. And no, it's thank great, you. great to see you in the flesh. You too. <laughs> I'll see you soon. And, and thank you for watching First Look. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed First Look, and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when we post our next video.